Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you're opening up Device Manager and any device driver in there is missing the Power Management tab when there otherwise should be. So not all devices will have a Power Management option, but if you're noticing none of them do, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve this without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu, type in R-E-G-E-D-I-T, Best result, check them back a registry editor. Go ahead and right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, all you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever needed to import back from the backup, all you have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. So again, pretty straightforward process and now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start off by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. So double click on that. Do the same thing now for the system folder. Locate current control set and double click on it. Same thing for the control folder. And then finally, there should be a power folder in here. Just go ahead and left click on that. On the right side, you want to right click in a blank area, select new, and then select the word 32 bit value. Name this value CS, so capital C, and then lowercase s, enabled. Exactly how you see it on my screen. So again, CS enabled. B and enabled should be capitalized. Hit enter. And now that you've done that, double click on it and set the value data to 1. So delete the 0. Type the number 1 in here. Base should be hexadecimal. Select OK. And then once you're done with that, you should be able to go ahead and just close out of the registry editor. You will need to restart your computer in order for the change to take effect here. And now you should be good to go. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.